Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel if you're here for the first time my name is Ann and today it's my birthday so I wanted to film a video uh, where I show you guys my makeup today I went for a very smoky brown eye look it's inspired by Jaclyn Hill she uh, did a video where she um, showed her whole brush collection and she was wearing this very gorgeous brown smoky kind of eye look so I wanted to wear it today because we have similar eye colors and I just feel like it really makes the eye color stand out so yeah that's the look I went for today so it's inspired by Jaclyn Hill and in today's video I'm also doing another giveaway with the fold collection from Jaclyn Hill in today's video you can win this arm and gorgeous palette which I used in this video um, which is from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe fold collection so just like I did in my previous giveaway all you need to do is subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up uh, follow me on instagram and also leave a comment down below that you're joining the giveaway this way i can select a winner um yeah i think that's about it i think it's time to start the video i hope you guys will enjoy so the first thing like always is priming my eyelids and i'll be using the max soft ochre paint pot i'm taking a p84 brush which is like a small kabuki brush and i'm using this to apply the primer all over the eyelid Now I'm starting with this palette from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I think this is called the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to start with this light color. This is going to be my transition shade. So I'm taking my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to blend it all over in my crease. Now I switch to a bigger fluffier brush and blending a little bit more of that all around the crease and also around the outer V area. Then I'm taking the Armed and Gorgeous palette from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brushes and I'm going to start with using this orangey color which is called Rush. I'm taking a blending brush again from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Fold Collection. No, not the Fold Collection, the Brush Collection. And I'm going to blend this shade all over my crease to really warm up that crease. Today's video, I'm going to use a lot of colors. I really wanted to build it up by going in with more colors and more colors to really get a very nice gradient. So if you're wondering why I'm using that much shades, it's just because it makes it look even better. Then I'm taking the shade Alert. And like I said, I'm going to build it up. So I'm going to blend it in my crease as well. And um, now I switch to a tinier brush from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brush collection. Really focusing like right in my crease. Because the other shades I use a bigger brush. And that means you will like reach a bigger place if that makes sense. It goes up a little bit higher towards the brow. So if you go next in with a tinier brush it will be applied a little bit lower. I really hope that makes sense. But that's why you see this shade like straight in my crease. Now I'm taking the shade Mugshot and I'm going in with that same brush and I'm just going to blend it right on top of it to make it even more darker and to warm it up even more. So, so far I'm really liking how my eyeshadow is looking right now. I feel like with shades like this it just really makes the eye color really pop out and that's I guess what we all want. I know eyeshadow is all fun and games but I think if the eyeshadow makes your own natural eye color pop out even more I think that's like what we want. It makes your eyes just look more beautiful in general. Now I'm taking this shade which is called Framed and I'm taking another brush from Jaclyn Hill. This is I guess like a dupe of the Sigma E25. They're basically almost the same um, but I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. I'm kind of pressing it. You can also use this brush to kind of blend in your crease or in your outer V but um, I'm just using it to press this eyeshadow all over the eyelid. So I went in with my brush a few times to get more color payoff. This shade isn't super pigmented as I expected it to be. But if you build it up, it did work pretty well. 
So then I'm going to blend around the edges as well to make sure that it blends into my crease. Because if you pack an eyeshadow on the eyelid, it can always look really harsh around the edges. So make sure you also blend around the outer end of your crease to make it look better. Then I applied a little bit more on the lid. And then I'm going back in with the Jack and Hill palette by Morphe and I'm taking this shade which is darker than the one I just used. I feel like all these shades are like in the same undertone. They're all really warm kind of brown colors. But I felt like this shade would be perfect to blend out that crease even more because it's a little bit darker than the other shades um, in, the, in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. But I don't know how to explain. This is just the perfect color for that. I'm taking this Inglot eyeliner and I'm going to use this to create a line above the lash line. Keeping it really simple, just creating a simple line. If you want to go for a winged liner, of course you can do that as well. But I feel like because I really focused on creating that gradient around my outer V area, I feel like it's such a way to go in with an eyeliner, like winged liner. I feel like I really want to keep eyeshadow over there. I'm taking this pencil from Urban Decay, which is so gorgeous. I'm going to apply this all over in my one line. This is in the shade Lucky. It's like a bronzy, orangey brown color and it's super beautiful. I will also be showing it in my upcoming next video. Now I'm taking the Jack and Hill Armed in Gorgeous palette again. Taking the shade Secret with a flat diviner brush from Sigma Beauty and I'm pressing this right underneath the lower lash line. This way I can really press it as tight as possible towards my lower lash line since this brush is really flat. Then I'm taking the shade Alert with a Morphe M506. Blending this all the way underneath the lower lash line. You can do it like as low as you want. If you really want a very blown out smoky eye, just blend it as low as possible. But make sure that you don't apply too much product on your brush. Now I'm wiping away the loose powder I applied. And you can see it leaves me with a nice blended out lower lash line. Then I'm going back in with the Jack Hill and Morphe palette. And I'm taking this color. I'm going to use that a little bit in my inner corner area to brighten up that area. You can skip this if you want, but I felt like something was missing, so I applied that. Now for my mascara, I used the De Balm Cosmetics Scuba Mascara, one of my favorites. And for my fake eyelashes, I went in with the Modern Lashes in the style Lily. And then this is how the eye look is looking right now. So now that I have finished my eyes, I'm going to finish off the rest of my face. Um, I already have some foundation and concealer on. I will put the names of the products in the description bar. So now I'm going um, to do my lips because I feel really naked without having anything on my lips. So I'm taking this lip pencil from NYX in the shade London. And I'm going to use this to line my lips. So now on top of that, I'm going to use this liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors in the shade Supernatural. And then on top of that, I'm taking this Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Bear. Or, oh, it's not called Bear, it's called Can You Not. I'm going to use a combination of those two. And please excuse my nails, they look terrible. I don't have any nail polish on right now. Um, my nails were actually really long. My middle finger came in between the refrigerator and it smashed, there was blood. Uh, it was terrible, so I just decided to um, cut my nails and just start all over. Hopefully they will be as long as they used to be because I was really proud because I've never had like natural long nails. But at this moment they just look terrible, so please don't look at them. But yeah, I'm now going to use a combination of these two. Um, I can also like only use the lip gloss, but I want to see if I use a liquid lipstick underneath it, uh, if it will be more long lasting. So first I'm taking the Supernatural Liquid Lipstick, which is a very gorgeous nude color. So now I'm first going to let this liquid lipstick dry and then I'm going to use that lip gloss. Um, so first I'm going to just finish up the rest of my face. I received these two new palettes from Sigma Beauty. One of them is like a contour and highlight palette and the other one is a blush palette. So today I'm going to test these two out. And I'm going to start with the contour and I'm going to use the color Faking It, which is this light one right here. I'm going to take this brush from the Jack Hill and Morphe collection, which is the G802. Just dipping it in here. I'm going to tap off the excess product because I don't want too much.
Okay, so I just applied a very tiny amount and I think it's looking really nice. It's very cool tone, so I think this is perfect for like uh, if you want to contour your face. But um, to warm up my face, I'll be using like a different um, bronzer to make it more warm. So now to warm up my skin, I'm taking the medium deep mineralized skin finish from MAC. You know the drill, I use this all the time. I'm taking that same brush from Jack and Hill and Morphe and just applying it right on top of where I just contoured. So now my skin is looking a little bit more bronzy. I am now going to use that lip gloss I was talking about. It's the Can You Not Lip Gloss from Dose of Colors. So now I'm going back in with the Sigma palette and I'm going to take this color called Shine On and I'm going to use that for my highlight. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe & Jaclyn G809. Okay, I think that's looking quite pretty, but I want it to be a little bit more blinding. So I'm taking the Super Glow from Tasha Denona, one of my favorite highlighters at the moment. And I'm using a little bit of that in the center. And now for my blush, I'm taking the Cheek Palette from Sigma as well. And I'm going in with the middle shade right here. Okay, maybe this is a little bit too pink. I'm not going to apply any more. I'm just going to try to go in with a powder brush and blend it out a little bit more. I didn't expect it to be this pink. I do think since my lips are quite neutral and the eyes are brown, I do think it suits well. But I want it to be a little bit more... Um, less obvious, if that makes sense. I'm taking this G803 brush and I'm just going to dab it on top of it. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really like how it turned out. This is a look that I would like to wear every day because the colors just really make my eyes pop out. So I think this is the perfect look I chose to do for my birthday today. And yeah, I just really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's really helpful for my YouTube channel. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. No, I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 I wanna take you out. Your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin